Hello guys, welcome back to A to Z Dentistry, a channel which features easy explanation of various dental topics. And today we'll be covering about functions of cementum in detail. So without any further delay, let's get started. So under today's topic, we'll be looking at introduction, that is the definition of cementum. And later on, we'll be focusing towards various functions of cementum. So let's begin. Coming to the introduction, so cementum is defined as a calcified avascular tissue which is derived from the mesenchymal cells that forms the outer covering of the anatomical root. So uh, as we know that the anatomical root is something which is not visible into the oral cavity and cementum basically forms a protective layer around that root, right? So that we don't experience the sensitivity. So basically it is a calcified kind of a tissue which is derived from mesenchyme it is a vascular meaning that it does not have its own blood supply right and it, this is the only tissue in the oral cavity which is a vascular so basically cementum here is defined as a calcified tissue which is a vascular derived from the mesenchymal cells that is forming the outer covering of the anatomical root so here we can see that this is our root portion and in the circumference there is a layer of cementum right so cementum is basically functioning as a protective layer around the anatomical root so the first and foremost function of cementum is attachment that is it provides the attachment to the sharpies fibers of the pedontal ligament thus it helps in attaching to to the alveolar bone so before understanding this point we must understand that what are sharpies fibers so basically these are the fibers which are partly embedded into the alveolar bone and partly embedded into the cementum these are derivatives of type 1 collagen fibers and in this picture we can see so these are the sharpies fibers and towards uh, the cementum part the fibers are much thinner in diameter compared to the alveolar bone part where they are lesser in number and the diameter is much more right so these are sharpies fibers this helping attachment to the tooth so basically what cementum is doing here it is acting as a media right it is providing attachment to these sharpies fibers which are derivatives of type 1 collagen from the pdl and they are helping them to attach the tooth to the alveolar bone so the second function of cementum is functional adaptation right so the word itself indicates that it is doing something which is related to the function of the tooth right it is involved in some kind of adaptation therein right so what happens when there is uh, with increase in the age when the occlusal forces are continuously increasing right as mastication is going on it's a lifelong process so there is natural wear of the occlusal as well as the incisal surfaces of the tooth so in this picture we can see this is nothing but this is the attrition that is the physiological wearing of the incisal edges as well as occlusal surfaces of the tooth right so what happens due to this as there is continuous wear and tear which is happening there so uh, for example if we say that there is a uh, subsequent attrition which is happening in the lower tooth or the mandibular teeth so obviously the total height of the tooth will become less over time right so the maxillary teeth need to compensate right they need to supra erupt so that the occlusal relationship can be established once again right so for proper chewing there must be proper tooth contact right that's what keys of occlusion is all about, which we have learned in ortho, right? So what happens without any tooth-to-tooth -to -tooth contact, a person cannot chew properly. So it is very necessary. Now imagine if there is continuous wear of the tooth surfaces, which is happening over time. If we see if the mandibular tooth are wearing at a more faster rate, so obviously the, there will be a time when the height of the tooth which be, would be so less that there won't be any occlusal contact which would be happening between the maxillary and the mandibular tooth, right? So there must be some tissue which can compensate for this attrition, right? So what happens whenever there is an attrition which is happening, the cementum will compensate for this. What it will do, it will increase the deposition around the root so that the height of the tooth can be maintained at such a level that there is proper occlusal contact which is happening right so this is nothing but the functional adaptation that is due to continuous attrition there is loss of the uh, tooth surface which is happening so from the bottom of the tooth at the level of apices there is continuous deposition of the cementum so that the tooth can maintain its proper occlusal contact this is known as functional adaptation which is one of the most important function of the cementum moving on towards the third function of the cementum that is anchorage so the word 
uh, itself indicates that it is anchoring that means it is holding on something right so the function of cementum is to furnish a medium for the attachment of the collagen fibers so we have discussed it previously as well it is providing attachment to the sharpies fibers right so it is basically furnishing a medium so that the tooth can properly bind to the alveolar bone so here we can see this is the cementum right and this is the alveolar bone this is the pedontal ligament so what cementum is doing it is furnishing a medium so that the fibers can be embedded into the tooth right so that the tooth can be directly binded to the alveolar bone so one of the pathological example of this situation would be in case of phyphophosphatasia so what happens in this disease there is loosening and loss of deciduous teeth which occurs right and this is the disease wherein you can see that the patient is completely edentulous why this is happening because there is no formation of cementum which is happening so just imagine if here there won't be any cementum so what will happen there would be no anchorage happening between the alveolar bone and the tooth and naturally the tooth would get loosened in its socket right so cementum is basically playing a very important role as it is furnishing a medium it is acting as a layer right on a vascular layer which is binding the tooth to the alveolar bone moving forward towards the next function of the cementum that is repair right so whenever there is ram damage which is occurring to the root of the tooth for example if there is a fracture right and that fracture is confined to the cementum so what will happen the tooth will try to repair itself that is there will be deposition of new cementum so that the fracture can be repaired so many a times with increasing age fractures of the root become common because of the increase in the occlusal stress which is happening over time right so there must be some tissue which can normally repair the small amount of wear and tear or by that we mean fracture as well of the root right so this is one of the most important fun function of the cementum that is the repaired part so whenever there is any damage to the root of the tooth there will be deposition of initially cellular and a cellular cementum is formed later on it is completely replaced by a cellular cementum right so it is functioning as a repair kind of a tissue wherein whenever there is any uh, small amount of wear and tear or even fracture is happening it is getting deposited there and it is compensating for that fracture so the next function of cementum is again an extension of that that is it is compensating for the tooth wear right so as previously we have discussed it is nothing but the same thing so whenever there is any wearing of the tooth be it physiological be it pathological the cementum is the first issue which will come there and try try to bring back the occlusal harmony right so whenever there is reduction of the tooth or whenever there is any kind of attrition which is happening due to which there is disturbance in the occlusal relationship cementum gets deposited at the roots of the teeth and it tries to maintain the occlusal harmony in the oral cavity right moving on towards the last function of the cementum that is protection so as we have discussed in the definition itself that it is a covering and a vascular covering which is covering the anatomical root so definitely one of the most important function of cementum is protection right it is covering and protecting the radicular dentin which is very sensitive as it is an a vascular tissue it is covering the part of radicular dentin therefore it won't allow any sensitivity to occur right so protection is also one of the important function of cementum so let's have a quick recap and just look at our checklist that is what we have learned today right so today we have learned the definition of the cementum that is it is an avascular mesenchymal tissue right which basically covers the anatomical part of the root right then we learned about various functions of the cementum so briefly we have discussed about the five important functions of the cementum right so how can you remember this so the most easy way which i could figure out is by the mnemonic far cp right so far is far that is you know very long distance away like something like that and cp here stands from connaught place a very well known place in delhi right so here you can see this person is thinking oh my god this connaught place is so far from my place right so here f stands for functional adaptation right so this is nothing but due to continuous wearing away of the incisal and occlusal surface of the tooth in order to maintain the occlusal harmony cementum 
gets continuously deposited at the apices of the root right second function which we have learned a that is anchorage right it is furnishing a medium for attachment of sharpies fibers and therefore it is anchoring the root of the tooth to the alveolar bone right r stands for repair again the same function due to continuous attrition which is happening cementum is compensating so that the occlusal harmony can be maintained right next it is c that is it is compensating for the tooth wear. again the same thing and the last one is p protection that is it is protecting the sensitive radicular dentin right by furnishing a protective casing okay so this is how you can remember that corner places so far oh my god and easily you can write the five important functions of the cementum and trust me if you mention all of the uh, functions with proper diagrams you will be fetching full marks i can tell you this by experience so just remember oh my god this cannot places so far and you can easily write the five important functions of the cementum right so this was all about functions of cementum in detail i hope you understood this topic very well so this is one of the most frequently asked saq that is short answer questions in our exam and i hope i have made it quite clear for you all so thank you for listening to this video and i hope you like this video and understood the topic very well if you have any doubts please post them in the comment section below i would be more than happy to answer them till then this is dr snehal signing off bye bye thank you